I had a fantastic meeting with Good News Pest Solutions crew this morning and Dean is actually going to be on the video today. He is the star of the show. But I stopped for lunch at this little uh, Mideastern restaurant and the service there is phenomenal. It costs you absolutely nothing to treat your customers like family. Like zero. It doesn't cost you a thing to treat them like family but it makes every bit of the difference in terms of their experience. Every time that I'm coming to this client that I'm at now, I try to eat lunch at that place because the people are phenomenal and it doesn't cost them a dime to act that way. Okay, today I am in the office. I'm actually behind the desk of the man himself. You guys have heard me talk about this guy several times as one of the business owners that I really respect and admire because he knows how to turn it off. And he can do that because he's, he's done a really good job of building a team and that's what I want to talk about today. So this, ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, this is Dean Burnside. Dean is the owner of Good News Pest Solutions. All right, so when we first started working together, you had just, within a year or two, and this is, this is rolling back the clock, maybe four or five years, you had just kind of made a pretty heavy investment in your leadership team. True. An investment that if people looked at your company, um, they might go, wow, he's got a lot of managers, like a lot of leaders for that size company, a right? Top heavy. A little top heavy. Yeah. So... I would, I would like to know from you, what was the tipping point hmm. that made you decide, hey, I'm going to go all in on this investment and, and a good leadership team? Honestly, Joe, I think it was uh, just spurred by growth. I just couldn't carry all the balls, wear all the hats, spin all the plates any longer. Uh, at one time, I was the hub in the middle of the, the wheel, the wagon wheel, and every spoke reported to me. Uh, the, I was the big pepperoni in the middle of the pizza, if you will. <laughs> Our org chart was very circular, and I was the guy in the middle that everybody came to. Now, it feels good to be the answer guy that everybody needs. Ooh, wow, hey, I know the answer to that. Hey, let's do it this way. That was all good for a while until there was just too much of it. So, actually, the organic growth of our company necessitated me, man, I just I can't be the sales manager anymore. We, we just have too many sales that are happening that require full-time. I can't be the guy literally writing all the checks anymore. I can't be the guy who's taking uh, the, the service questions about, hey, what kind of ant is this anyway? And what product are we gonna use to kill that one this week? Right, right. I just couldn't do it all anymore. It really was, the tipping point for us was, was sheer growth that I just couldn't do it by myself anymore. I think that resonates with a lot of business owners who are stuck doing those things now and like wanna see the way out but maybe have a hard time making the jump. So if you could give them a piece of advice or two about making the commitment to really kind of jump out there, build a leadership team so that the business runs without you, what would that advice be? I'll tell you, it starts with trust. It's the hardest thing when you're making the leap from you want everyone to count on you because you're the best at it, or you feel you are. <laughs> anyway, you're the one that built the company and, and wow, if it's, up, if it's to be, it's up to me. You, you have to release trust to someone else. And, and it's, the, it's the big curve to get over for a lot of business owners. Uh, I know a lot of, pest control is a, is a very uh, mom and pop oriented business. There's thousands of single operator pest control companies. They're successful, guys are making a living, doing okay. And then there's, a, there's the top 20 that are huge, huge, huge companies, $500 million companies, and then there's not a lot in the middle, honestly, because it's either I want to do it all or I, I can't do it all. But the, the leap is trust. Uh, you have to find somebody that you trust enough, that you entrust enough responsibility to also carry the ball for you. So it really revolves around trusting the right person to come alongside that you can give that ball to and know they're going to carry it even further than you. I, here's the baton, you know. Take it further than I did. You're better at that. Hiring people better than you at something, particularly the controller position. Uh, you can outsource mm -hmm. some things like that, but boy, that person that's running your checking account, they, they better take it 
so personally that it feels like it's theirs that you can trust with that. And, and that's, a, that's a hard place to get to in that role. But other leaders too, it, it's just a, a mountain of trust that you have to build that they can do it better than you. Hmm. Hire people better than you was, was a key for me. All right. So there you have it. And I will say, I'll give you great props on a leadership uh, trait that I think serves you really well. And that is being able to acknowledge that there are smarter people in the room, hmm. that you've been very good about going out and finding people who can do it better than you. And you're not intimidated by that. You welcome it, right? I try not to be. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> All right. So... That's the advice from, this is actually the, the no stress zone. The stress-free zone. Stress-free zone, so it's the stress Shade zone. of the palm tree. Joey's going to feed me a few grapes here in, in just a minute. <laughs> yeah. I like those. We will not get that on tape. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Go back one more now. You had... Uh, <sighs>